In a two works for you crime alert, Tulsa police say a woman found a would be burglar passed out in a closet of her family's home. Two works for you anchor Max Resnick is in East Tulsa with how prescription drugs played a part. Investigators tell us 16 hours passed between the time 21 year old Neil Birch entered this home and exited in police handcuffs. Early Tuesday morning, police say the homeowner's daughter came to check on her mother's house. When she entered the home, she found it ransacked. In the master bedroom closet, she found Birch nearly unconscious. Corporal Mike Shelton says Birch took the homeowner's prescription drugs mid burglary after breaking in Monday afternoon around 3. He had been in all the drawers. He had gotten everything he needed, but he just couldn't stay awake to finish the burglary. He ended up passing out in the closet. The homeowner's daughter quickly called police, who say drug-related crimes have become a significant issue here in Tulsa. It's a big problem in Tulsa right now. We've got burglars who sometimes will go into a house and leave very obvious nice loot in the house, but you go into the medicine cabinet and it's been completely rifled through. Birch, in addition to the charges he'll face Tuesday, also had four felony warrants for his arrest. Police say this was a crime of opportunity, a homeowner gone for the holiday weekend. Birch's day didn't end here. According to police, Birch and two officers got into a fight in the emergency room parking lot following his arrest. They say he slipped off his handcuffs and tried to make an escape. Two officers fought him there. All three treated for their injuries. Birch, in addition to the charges he'll face from this break in, can also add escaping and resisting arrest charges. In East Tulsa, Max Resnick, two works for you.